Leo, right? As I said, that you were coming out of darkness. The video just cut. Just cut. And I was left sitting here wondering what I should do. And I'm realizing that this has a lot to do with the energy that you're experiencing right now. I feel like something recently like got cut off in your life. And I think it it's probably in relation to this king out of balance, you know, um, this could be another Leo you're dealing with, you know, it doesn't have to be, but you know, let's think about what the energy of a Leo out of balance would be, right? So this might be somebody who has big ego, very forceful, my way or the highway. It's all about them, you know, with that reversed energy there. And I'm noticing that, you know, this is a one for the king and it's in reverse. Ones are usually about beginnings. So I feel like maybe something was supposed to happen with this king. Maybe some promises were made. And just like that, things got cut off. In some way, you feel kind of like duped or ripped off in this situation. You know, I'm thinking emotionally ripped off. And there's been an internal conflict with you over this because you feel like this, this person is your counterpart, you know? But you play a, a, a mirroring role for each other. This is what I'm getting. You play a mirroring role for each other, okay? You hold the sun, you know? So for him, you mirror to him what it means to, to be in your joy, right? But he mirrors to you the moon. So he teaches you how to find the light within the dark. You both hold light for each other, just in different ways. And it exercises in different ways within you. You know, your connection, it, it, it activates different centers in both of you. You know, you've helped to bring illumination to his shadow. And he's taught you how to confront your shadow and still be able to hold on to your light without being overcome by it. You know, and as I was saying, there's a lot of transformation in this, in this energy, you know, with that snake, that snake moving through the waters that divide. And I see the waters as like the emotions, you know, there's, there's this emotional transformation that needs to take place so this situation can be seen clearly. You know, and off at, at the distance, there's a wolf howling at the moon, you know? And the wolf is the pathfinder. Moons are also very connected to emotions. Okay, so there, I feel like there's this need to like release the emotions, like audibly, to, to go somewhere, to go somewhere that's cleansing. If, you, if you're near an ocean, go to the ocean. The ocean is so purifying. And just let yourself howl. Go, go out at night. And look up at the moon and bay at the moon and just let it be like your moon song. You know, let it be your moon song and let that vocalization relieve what you're holding inside that you didn't get to express. 
you know, this goes along with that cleansing, right? That, that spiritual cleansing. You know, Sagittarius energy here, the centaur. There is distance in this connection and there's been a lot of distance covered in this connection as well. I'm really getting that. And the connection's real, you know? It's not in your head, but it's interesting. This king in reverse, you know, there's something there. You know, we do see that the basis of the matter here is that, you know, there was this happiness that came in that sort of broke up the monotony in your life and it added some interest and some excitement and you felt enthusiastic for the first time in a long time. You know, it kind of set you off on that yellow brick road on that grand adventure, right? That's here on this abundance card. You know, maybe you, uh, you know, really started to see a growth in your finances. Maybe there was a promise of money to be delivered. Maybe you were banking on that. Also see travel in the mix here with this rider energy. I'm getting this like piece about, you know, travel and uh, growth and finances, like, but I'm getting this very much like almost mixing business with pleasure kind of vibe out of it. You know, maybe you were promised that you were going to grow something together. You were going to do some journeying together, take a trip together, go out and, you know, explore together, figure out where you wanted to like put down roots. You know, we've seen this, this house at the end of this road and you know, that's what the yellow brick road was all about in, uh, you know, the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy wanted to find her way home, you know, but what did Dorothy learn? She learned that she could go home anytime she wanted because home isn't out there, home is in here. And sometimes this cast of characters that we meet along that yellow brick road, you know, the tin man who needed a heart and the scarecrow who needed brains and the lion Leo who needed courage. You know, we learned that those were just all aspects of ourselves being mirrored to us and the people around us to help remind us of who we are, why we're here, where we're going. It's definitely been an adventure, for sure. And I do think you are going to have growth in your finances, but there's like this travel and finances connection piece. And I think that you want this. I feel like you do want to go exploring. You want to see more of the world. I believe you have a particular place in mind that you've really been wanting to visit. You feel very drawn to the, to the land there. You know, you may even be considering moving there. You might have traveled to this place before. Maybe you're getting more serious about actually looking at relocation. Mm -hmm. But it does require courage. Requires a big leap of faith. And it also requires that you have the financial backing. Maybe you've been afraid to take leap. Because going after this means you really have to kind of like, you know, stand on your own merit. Can you create that financial freedom for yourself? I think the answer is a fuck yes with that abundance card coming through. 
I think you have the determination, okay, with that bull energy. If you set your eyes on the prize, you work really hard and you keep moving forward, I think you can make anything happen you want to make happen. I think maybe the thing that can kind of like throw you off is that you think that you need this, you know, other person to back you up. I'm looking at the top of the deck energy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot going on here, you know? I do feel like you've been in a phase where you've just kind of wanted to be alone. You just sort of want to vibe on your own energy right now. You're ready to bring some cycles to a close. And, and you don't feel bad about it. You know, you're comfortable with yourself. You're fine having this space to yourself, you know? You just want to love up on your animals and, you know, just have a moment to relax. Have it not be about everybody else and what they need and what works for them and, you know, just being, you know, cool, just simply being with yourself. I think you've been dealing with a lot, man. We do see illness here. We have the house here, okay, that's got this Bebo character. There's been some weird shit going on at your house. You know, it might look like a happy home on the outside, but things aren't quite normal on the inside. You know, something's not right. It doesn't feel like a fit. It doesn't really feel like home. And I think that's why you're feeling that pull to go out and explore. Like you've outgrown the space you're currently in. I feel like there's also been disruption there too. I feel like there's been some fighting, some disagreements. You're having a hard time getting on the same page, you know, um, with the people you live with. If, if you live with somebody, I'm picking up, this is somebody who does live with somebody. You know, it could be neighbors, could be a problem. Maybe you got, some of you may have neighbors who've been like up partying real late at night. And the noise has kept you awake. It's been disrupting your sleep. You know, and you've already been feeling run down. You haven't been feeling so good. I feel like you've been struggling. You know. I feel like you've been struggling. I feel like you've also been worrying about the health. We see this like king out of balance, you know, for, for you Leos, you know, that identify as masculine. Maybe you've been concerned about your own health, you know, just because you have been feeling, you know, sort of out of your element and imbalanced. You know, maybe you've been struggling with some, you know, mental health issues. Maybe you've been dealing with anxiety. Maybe you've been feeling depressed, you know, and you've just needed some space to recoup from that. Um, and those of you who feel like, you know, you've been managing okay, maybe you're worried about, you know, this, this individual, this king energy. Maybe you're concerned that they're, you know, falling into a depression or struggling with something mentally that they need support on, you know. But you're recognizing that, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You can't take it on. Only they can do that work. You know, there's two, two groups of nine energy here. The cat lady card is 27. That's nine. And then the king with this illness makes another nine. Nine is the number of letting go, like completion. I think, you know, you're, you're starting to understand that... It's really what's best because, again, here's this fox energy. That means there's there's a lot that's camouflaged in this situation. This situation isn't stable with this blender energy here. You know, there's a man and a woman in this blender and they are angry and they are whipped up in a frenzy. 
And isn't this interesting, this whole Wizard of Oz theme here with this tornado energy down at the bottom? Dorothy, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Okay. I think there's a lot coming to the head. I feel like secrets are coming out. Things that have been hidden are resurfacing. I think that there's been things that haven't been all on the up and up. I believe this is part of what's causing the disruption in the home. Part of what may be causing the fighting for those who are, are living with someone. You know, things are coming out into the open and it's causing disruption. And this disruption, like, uproots you from what has been a stable situation up to this point and sort of sets you on this new adventure that has you striking out in an entirely new direction. And I see this, like, kind of gamble energy there. But I think that, you know... You're following your heart. This is like sacred heart energy here. You know, you're choosing to follow what lights your soul on fire. You know, you're tired. You're tired of playing it safe, you know. You're tired of having it be about everybody else and what they need and you've started to get in touch with what you need what excites you what's going to light you up what's going to you know knock your fucking socks off and I think you're going to go out there and have yourself an adventure and you're going to figure it out and I would say good for you cut of the deck energy yeah I see a break up here I was picking that up really strong. I see a break up here. And I think that it's, you know, it's fast. It's unexpected. It's destabilizing at first, you know. But it's actually really for the best. Because, I mean, this ship's going down, okay? And there's, you know, some, some kind of every man for himself energy here because there's two people over here. They, they ran off with the, you know, <laughs> the lifeboat, but they're actually stuck. They're trying to wave for help. And they ain't got no paddles, you know, they're just stranded out there. They may have been acting in their own self-interest, but they ended up really putting themselves in quite a fucked situation, you know? Who's going to rescue them now, right? And then, you know, there's people here, you know, jumping off, bailing out. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's a, like a changing of sides in your situation. You know, people are really kind of focusing on what they need to do to take care of themselves. I think there's a lot of disruption with this breakup, you know, and for those who aren't having a romantic breakup, this could be, you know, um, any kind of like severing of ties. It can be within, you know, um, I just got within a, within a community, okay? You know, maybe you've really outgrown a community of people and you're ready to just strike out on your own, go off in your own direction and it creates a lot of disruption. But the reason why you did it is because you were feeling like you were ripped off. You know, you weren't getting your fair share. You felt like everybody had this kind of like, I'm aboard, pull up the ladder mentality, every man for himself. And there wasn't this like feeling of real community and coming together. And that can apply in a lot of different ways, you know. It can be within, you know, a, a group of friends. It can be within a, a business, you know. Just trying to give some other, you know, ways that this could be interpreted. Because I know there's a lot of different people uh, that are watching this. And I just like to see what this energy is here on 
bottom of the split. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's really interesting. Lots of cat energy coming through here. <laughs> mm. You know, I have a I have a certain meaning for this the cats, you know, card. And I I have a couple things coming through here. Okay, first of all. Uh, on this side here, we have a heavy hitter card, right? We have this uh, infinity card, which is all about, you know, that continuation of life and the cycles of life. It also forms an eight, which is a number of fate. And we have up at the top 36, 36 breaks down to nine. That's ending of a cycle. It's fate to end this cycle, you know, with this individual, I feel it is wise and it's just because this card here, the cats, this is my card of, there's a lot of pussy in the mix and all these kitty cats are fighting over the fancy feast. I see three feminines involved in this situation, and it's all very clandestine, okay? It's all on the hush-hush. It's all on the down low, all right? And that's not going to change. It's not going to change. Now, this can be seen a couple different ways. You know, for those who are into polyamory, you know, you may find that these are people that you can work with, okay? We see there's also, this is kind of funny, we see here, all right, that there's also three dogs, okay? <laughs> this is becoming a party. <laughs> three cats to three dogs, you know. Everybody's got their playmates, all right? And we do see, like, wish fulfillment here, okay? So, you know, for those who like to rock that way, this could actually work out to be a really good situation. I think that the main thing that's uh, an issue in the situation is that there is a desire for, uh, you know, decorum, you know, a respect for intimacy. Let's, let's keep things, you know, between us. Let's not broadcast what we're doing, you know, and that's more to just protect the sanctity of the connection between these parties. There's, I see, you know, three men, three women. <laughs> And maybe you've all, you know, navigated how to make it work with each other. And it's interesting because on this wish card in the background, there's a map, right? So it's sort of like maybe you all live at distances from each other and there's a way that it can work, you know? Yeah, I see that as an option, you know? But then on the other side... We can see that those that don't like this arrangement, okay, want to speak to both sides. Not everybody's into polyamory, okay? This might be something that you're ready to dead, you know? You're ready to make a change and, you know, remember it for what it was and the good times you have with this person, you know? But recognizing that, you know, that's not really what you want. And this may be, you know, causing some issues because we see this pig issue, this pig energy right here, you know. This is this is about somebody who's really selfish, you know. They want what they want. They don't think about how it affects other people, you know. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I instantly thought of the three little pigs and I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house down. And we saw that, like, you know, um, fighting occurring in the home. 
you know, maybe this is somebody from your past and they started coming around kind of like trying to kiss up to you. We do see a money exchange here. Maybe even they were, you know, promising you some kind of financial security or something. If, you know, you just let them back in again. I don't know, you know, but we do know. Um, and that's interesting, sort of a repeat of the wolf energy too, the pathfinder, because there was a wolf that, the big bad wolf that was coming to blow down the pig's house. So maybe this individual resurfaced from the past um, and they had a lot of, you know, convincing things to say and you kind of started to go along for the ride and it stirred up a bunch of drama in your living situation. Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, yep. Well, I do see a message coming in for you. One of those dogs is going to be reaching out to you. <laughs> oh, which one? I don't know. I think maybe that that's kind of the, the irony in this situation for some people is that I just got this, that some of you, you both have been pulling a fast one on each other. You know, they had lots of options, but hey, you had your reserves too. <laughs> oh, you Leos, man, you've been getting straight buck wild, okay? <laughs> but we do see a message coming in from one of those dogs, and I think it's going to give you new clarity with this hawk energy here, you know? I think you will have your proper boundaries up around this. You're going to see it for what it is, but it's going to give you a perspective that's kind of going to kind of open up new possibilities to you. And I see that this is actually what sets you off on your grand adventure um, and why you're going to be kind of like saving your money with the squirrel energy. Uh, so you can take that leap and strike out on your own and go and explore in the world, figure out what you want to do, you know? But I think you're going to be very financially successful. I think it does involve breaking away, though, from what you're currently doing and striking out on your own, doing something independently, okay? May even take you to new places. Like, you may relocate a great distance away. You may even relocate to another country, you know, to explore your career opportunities. You could have an offer come in. Uh, from a place that's like the making of everything you wished for. You know, we do see that wish card. We do see future fulfillment of happiness. You're on that yellow brick road. We know the abundance is coming in. Okay. But I feel like there is a leap to get there. This is coming in pretty strong, you know, and right behind it is the love energy. Okay. And behind that, bigger so I would say that if you've been having some challenges, there's a possibility to overcome those challenges and experience a healing in a relationship. And that there's communication coming in around this, a message, an important message. But do remember, you know, the temptations that sabotaged this connection in the past. And if you can do that, you can avoid a repeat and bring a lot of happiness your way. And that's what I have for you, Leo.